The five whys technique was developed by the Toyota Motor Company in the early 1970s and is an integral part of Toyota's production system program, which includes other tools like lean. The basic idea of the five whys technique is to find the root cause of a problem or deviation by asking questions that start with why. Once the root cause of the deviation is understood, solutions can be identified and implemented. The five whys will typically start with the question, why did this problem or deviation occur? When you have the answer to this first why question, you ask a follow-on question that also begins with why, but uses the information provided in the previous answer. This is repeated until you understand the problem. There is nothing magic about the number five, but rather, it's intended to ensure that careful thinking is applied to a problem. Sometimes you may need to ask why six or seven times, and in other situations, four may be enough. Early practitioners found that it took at least five rounds of why questions to get enough of an understanding of a problem to address it effectively. You know you have asked why enough times when the answer is, I don't know. Then you have reached a useful starting point for a more comprehensive problem-solving tool, such as KT's problem analysis process. Let's look at an example. You're the operations manager of a manufacturing company. You've got a busy day ahead of you when you get a call from HR. There's a problem. Lots of absent staff, mostly line operators, who are on sick leave. Using the five whys technique, your first question is, why are the operators off sick? First why. They all have back pain. Why do they have back pain? Second why. Because they have to pick up heavy steel parts off of the floor. Why are they picking up heavy steel parts off of the floor? That is in our standard procedure. Third why. Some steel parts fall off the conveyor belt during production. Why are the steel parts falling off the conveyor belt? Fourth why. Because the limit switch on the production line doesn't always work, which means they can't control the flow. Why is the limit switch not working? Fifth why. We don't know. We tested the circuits and the switch itself and everything is working as it should. In order to find the root cause, further analysis is required. However, by using five whys, we are now focused on the appropriate elements of the production process, not the people with back pain, and understand that this is a deviation problem. The limit elements don't always work as expected. If you're familiar with KT's problem analysis process, you might notice that five whys is similar to the first step in describing the problem, developing a problem statement. Using five whys can help you identify where to start your problem-solving efforts without being too broad or too narrow.